So good news everybody. Today I'll be talking about the new iPad Pro that just came out, 2018, third generation. This is the big screen one and um, I'm an animator. A little bit about myself. I'm an animator and um, this review is just a broad review of how I plan to use the iPad Pro as an animation disc table and uh, the software and my experiences with it and just a quick review because I'm always looking for YouTube videos to go before I buy a product, big expensive product. I always look for reviews to find out what other people think of them. I have not found anything. I've, there's a lot of great illustrators using the iPad Pro, using the iPad as illustrator tools, but animators have not seen enough. So the problem is there aren't any good animation softwares on the iPad Pro, not like specifically high-end animation software. There are a couple, they're not bad, they're what you do with them, whatever, but they don't, they're very difficult to take it to the next level or if you already have a system set up and you're using other software for your compositing and like After Effects. I used to have a Wacom Cintiq and I love that, that was great, but I wanted something I could move around with and work in different places. I have to, I have a lot of kids. I drive people a lot. I, sometimes I work, do a lot of work in the car and I thought it would be amazing if I could continue doing animation when I'm sometimes waiting for kids in the car. Sometimes I have to drive long distances. My kids are, I need to be able to work mobily. So the iPad Pro does not tie me down to a desk. I thought this would be the ultimate solution. My other problems with Wacom is they're incredibly expensive. A Wacom, a high-end Wacom tablet costs more than this and it's stuck to a desk. And I'd, have, I'd be able to work only in my office. And like I said, I have children, I have to move around the house and be at different places. I have a special needs child and sometimes I need to be around the kitchen and make sure he doesn't get into trouble. So I need to be mobile. So I need my desk to be mobile. Anyways, quick review, it's a square. You know, people are talking about the design, oh, it's all screen, it's just a square, okay? Is it beautiful? I suppose if you like squares. The sunset is beautiful. Uh, a newborn baby learning to walk is beautiful. A puppy is beautiful. Uh, but the iPad is just a square. It has a great screen, yeah, great resolution, yada, yada, yada. We come to expect that. I'm, my mind is not blown. It comes with a new pencil that magnetizes. That is a cool feature. Oh look, it's not that easy. Did not just snap on there. This side is to have more success. Does it only snap on one side? Yeah, it only snaps on one side. So there's a magnet here and it only snaps on one side. So I learned that now and you learned that too. So you're welcome. My initial intention was to use the iPad Pro as a second screen as well. That way I can continue my workflow with the current softwares that I use and use my Wacom, the drawing tablet, and still use my previous software. I've downloaded a bunch of other software. I got AstroPad Pro. AstroPad Pro lets me mirror my screen or part of my screen on my iPad and use the pencil as a stylus. So that's so awesome. I still got a really powerful iPad and I have with the all, all the cool software that it does have. I've not played much with Procreate. It looks like a great drawing tool. Clip Studio. I used to play with that on the Mac like the previous versions of it. The thing was called Manga Studio. That's an awesome software. Um, I think the inking on it is the best inking. I don't know why it's just the best inking. I know a lot of people also use Photoshop for inking. But if you're doing comics and stuff, uh, Clip Studio, so awesome. So I'm kind of excited. I know there's also some animation features on that. I also downloaded uh, another animation software called, here it is, Rough Animation. Uh, Rough Animation, new project, project name. Blah, let's go. Okay, come on, let's do, uh, so, uh, this is so natural drawing on this on this tool. This is a uh, this just feels great. I'm holding the pencil in a really awkward way, but uh, this is a really this is a really great. Uh, I don't know what I'm drawing, so please no judging. 
the upper body of someone running. There you go. And uh, he has long hair and a smile. Oh, doesn't he look a bit anime? There you go, for the kids. Anyway, so I have no idea how this software works. I've not used it. Drawing duration, oh, that's drawing duration. And how do I add a frame? Well, I didn't, I didn't come to give you a bad tutorial of this software that I've never used. What I will give you a tutorial is of something that I've been playing around with, and this is why I got the iPad Pro, AstroPad. AstroPad lets me mirror part of my screen on my iPad, part of my laptop screen. Cool thing is, I got a brand new MacBook Pro and a MacBook and an iPad, and they both come with USB-C. So I'm using the USB-C as a connection. You can also use Wi-Fi to connect between them, but that could be jittery if your Wi-Fi is not that good or if it's a bit slow. This USB-C is quite magical. I'm guessing a USB connection would also be magical, but since you'd need a dongle or something, I don't know how that works. So. Hoping this is another useful video for someone who's wondering, can I use a USB-C? Okay, let's, this is bad, boring visuals. So I'm gonna show you how AstroPad works for me. Uh, I got the drawing part set up and I'm on my animation software and this feels quite natural. I am holding the pencil in a very odd way because I'm trying to get it in the camera. Yeah, it looks like I'm gonna draw a woman. I'm probably gonna draw a woman. Oh, damn. Anyways, big lips, because who doesn't like big lips? Give her some eyes. She's looking up, because she's not entertained by me. And she has a long neck. There you go, because I like women with long necks. Sorry to all the women with the short necks. I also like short necks. Anyways, oh, God, do I sound like Donald Trump. Anyways, so anyways, this is a very natural tool. I'm very, very impressed. And I can still use my laptop as a second. This is like a second. This is so awesome. I'm going to switch on my, because uh, my onion skinning. And as you can see, I can see the previous frame and uh, this frame. She'll have her mouth open. Anyways, and so on and so forth. Uh, it's just a really quick overview for animators wondering if this will work for them. I guess you shouldn't do this just holding the iPad in one hand and uh, you should have some kind of desk set up. I'm going to use a stand-up desk. I haven't figured out. It's really cool if I could also use the keyboard. And AstroPad is really clever. It has all these uh, features on the side. They just pop up if I want to sh keyboard shortcuts, finger gestures, shortcuts. It tells me what they are. Um, I think using two fingers is uh, undo. So you see I can undo and I forgot, maybe three fingers is redo? Yeah, redo. So isn't that cool? That's cool. Anyways, uh, loving this. Hopefully this is slightly useful for someone, or incredibly useful, for someone who's planning to move to the iPad Pro as their animation disc desk. So you're welcome. Subscribe to my channel. Most of my stuff is not tech reviews or about animation, but I am an animator. And uh, thanks for watching. So just playing around a bit with the um, Rough Animator. Is that what this software is called? Rough Animator, yep. Uh, this, is, uh, this is a really sweet, really easy to use. I've just played with it two seconds. It's all the, all the buttons are there. It's a really cool piece of software. So definitely it's so easy to use. Um, it's just so intuitive. It's hard holding the camera and trying to draw a frame, but it's just... It really feels... Now, it does, the, the glass is weird, but... Um, God, does it feel really nice and natural to, to work on this thing. And if you want to do rough animations, I've never used a tool ever this fast and this intuitive so not a quick review of rough animation because I'm a giver awesome software for animators uh, it's five pounds in England it's probably like six bucks somewhere else or something like that awesome software you want to play you're welcome